Hi, I'm Nancy Chamberlain. I'm executive assistant for the St. Paul's Music Guild. The Music Guild is the cornerstone of financial support for the Evensong Concert Series. Its mission is to continue the rich heritage of Anglican Evensong worship along with programs of music outreach to the Salem community. The Guild is overseen by a commission of five people who advise the Director of Music Ministries at St. Paul's. When you support the Guild, you are enabling the Evensong Concert Series to continue. Your donation not only supports the artists, but Salem Outreach at St. Paul's as well. Even though this year may look a little different, the Commission is committed to enhancing your life with sacred music in live stream format or in large gatherings when that is permitted. In the past years, we have brought world-renowned groups to St. Paul's, such as the King Singers, the Talis Scholars, Chanticleer, the Blind Boys of Alabama, and many more. Membership to the Music Guild is on an annual basis from July to June. To become a member, simply fill out a pledge card or go online to stpaulsoregon.org. Select the giving button and select the Music Guild. Thank you for considering a membership to the St. Paul's Music Guild. If you would like more information about our upcoming concerts or information about the Guild, please call the church office. We would love to include you in our mailings and announcements. Thank you for listening. And I would like to invite Dr. Paul Clemmy to introduce the 2021 Evensong Concert Series. Thank you, Nancy Chamberlain. I so appreciate the work that Nancy does for the St. Paul's Music Guild and for our Evensong Concert Series. I would like to talk with you a little bit about the upcoming concert series. We are in an unusual situation but fortunate that we have the technology to be able to live stream our concerts. So the question is, will our concert series happen? And the answer is yes, but there may be some variables depending on where we are during the year with health restrictions and safety restrictions. At this point, we will be live streaming our concerts Fortunately, almost all of our concerts are small ensembles where we will not have to have large gatherings of performers. And in this case, unfortunately, the audience won't be allowed in the building until things loosen up and that we can have large gatherings. So therefore, I would like to invite you to come to our concerts on your computer we will live stream those concerts at the appointed time on YouTube. So it's very simple. You simply go to the website at stpaulsoregon.org, click on the live stream button that says YouTube. It will take you directly to our YouTube channel and you'll be able to see the concert at the very time that it's publicized. So it's my great privilege to tell you a little bit about the concerts that are happening. The Evensong brochure has been printed and it's been mailed. And so I hope that you have gotten a copy. If not, please feel free to call the church office and request a copy that outlines the whole year. Now, the first concert will be in October. Our musicians for the October concert will include Bryce Schmidt and Jeff Snyder, trumpeters. I'm so privileged to be able to accompany these two and to be able to do organ and trumpet concert that will include some duets, some solo literature as well. Now, in November, I have programmed the famous Requiem by Gabriel Fauré. Unfortunately, we will not be able to have a full choir However, I believe that we will be able to have a very small chamber ensemble of singers and a couple of instrumentalists along with organ to bring this beautiful work to you. Now, it's a long ways off, but at this point we hope to have 
a very small group of musicians that will be able to bring that beautiful music to you on November 1st. Then in December, I have invited my associate Nicholas Ertzgard to partner with Laura Zer and David Feinberg in a concert that is all Celtic music. The theme will be music from the season of Advent and I'm so pleased that Laura will be bringing her Celtic harp and I can't wait for you to hear David play his violin. And of course Nicholas has the perfect Irish tenor voice. In January, we will hear Janine Jordan play a concert that is entitled 80 Minutes Around the World. She will be playing organ music on the Gabriel Ney organ at St. Paul's. It will be partnered with images from all over the world and it will be part of a PowerPoint uh, program that you'll be able to see on YouTube. So I'm so looking forward to this May Dudley Memorial Concert so that you can hear Janine play this beautiful organ at St. Paul's. In February, we have the Grammy Award-winning group Take Six joining us. Now, hopefully they will be able to come from Alabama to perform with us. However, we'll wait to see how that all works out. If for some reason that concert is postponed, it will be postponed to the following year. There's a ticket required for that, so do stay tuned and know that we will reach out to you to let you know if that concert will happen and if tickets will be available. That's the one concert that will probably be a bit of a question mark at this time. Then in March, I have invited Marie Louise Heinrichs to come from Germany to play the beautiful Yamaha piano here at St. Paul's. Maria has had a chance to take a look at the music of Pergolesi. Giovanni Pergolesi wrote a stop up mater for choir. Well, in this particular case, she took all of the music and transcribed it to the piano. It's a beautiful piece that's appropriate for the season of Lent. And so she will be playing that music along with music from Hildegard von Bingen. In April, there is no concert. The Feast of Easter falls on the first Sunday of the month, so we will skip to May. And in May, we have the annual Extraordinary Young Musicians concert. I'm happy to let you know that Olivia Curry, who is a senior at South Salem High School, will partner with Emma Tiffany. Emma is a senior at Sprague. They will both be singing a vocal recital of sacred music, some duets, and some solos. Then finally, in June, I've invited Deanna Witkowski, who's a fabulous jazz pianist and also a sacred music composer. Deanna will come with her trio from New York City, and she will be playing all original music in jazz and gospel style that she does so well. This is a concert that's been rescheduled from June of 2020, now in 2021. So that's our season for the year. And while I do have you, there is one other rescheduled concert from 2020. Zachary Duell, who was to perform in April of 2020, will perform an organ recital at St. Paul's on September the 13th at four o'clock. So same thing, just simply go to our YouTube channel on the website at St. Paul's at four o'clock on September the 13th to hear Zachary play. So I invite you to participate with us. I invite you to become a member of the St. Paul's Music Guild, knowing that our concert series continues. I look forward to having you and I'm always available to answer any questions for you. But let's keep the music happening. Thank you all.